Hello there, and in this video we're going to talk about a special type of function known as the Lambert W function. Uh, this function is usually defined in order to solve particular types of equations. To sort of motivate why we need to construct such an equation, let us look at a couple of other examples uh, for which this has had to be necessary in the past. Uh, so let us assume we want to solve the equation uh, x squared is equal to 3, for example. So as we all know, we need to know, okay, what number squared is equal to 3? Uh, so we construct this function uh, square root uh, such that when, once we take the square roots of both of these sides of this equation, we get that the absolute value of x is going to be equal to the square root of 3. Uh, this then gives birth to two solutions as x is equal to plus or minus uh, the square root of 3. And remember here, the plus or minus is induced from the absolute value and not the quadratic term. So those are the solutions to this equation. Uh, another example, let us assume we have 2 to the x is equal to 3, and we want to solve this equation for x. So of course we need some functions such that uh, once we take uh, that function of both sides, uh, we should only get x on the left-hand side. So what is this function that does this property? Well, since we do not naturally know what it is, we construct such a function. Uh, so this function, uh, which is familiar to all of us, is, should be the logarithm base 2 of x. Uh, so once we apply this function, this function gets rid of this exponential base, uh, and then we obtain our solution to be equal to that function definition evaluated at whatever was on the right hand side. And that is the solution to that equation. So the construction and definitions of special functions is actually a natural part of mathematics. Uh, and the Ladmer W function is no exception. It just happens to be one of the more newer uh, functions uh, in the mathematical literature. All right, so let us define what this function, Lambert W, actually is. So f of x, uh, which is going to be abbreviated by w of x, hence why we call it the Lambert W function, is going to be defined to be the set of all y values such that y times e to the y is equal to x. All right, so that is the you know formal definition of what the Lambert W function is. Uh, so from this definition, uh, we can see a couple of examples of properties of it. Namely, if you have W of a e to the a, this is just going to be equal to a. And this is pretty much the, you know, property that we sort of demonstrated above uh, with the logarithm. It pretty much deletes uh, whatever is protecting this variable x. In this case, uh, we have a linear exponential function that's pretty much controlling this value of a. All right, so if we take that to be the definition, that means we can immediately solve some equations, right? Uh, so example one, suppose we want to solve the equation uh, x e to the x is equal to, say, 7. All right, so if I directly apply uh, the Lambert W function to both sides of this equation, I get w of e x e x is going to be equal to w of 7. And the special property of w is that w of x e x is just going to be equal to x. Uh, so x is going to be w of 7. And of course, as before with the other special functions, you know, what exactly is the square root of 3 equal to? What exactly is the log base 2 of 7 equal to? Uh, the same thing applies here. Uh, there are numerical methods to calculate the square root of 3, log base 2 of 7, and w of 7, uh, but we will not talk about them here. Uh, but this is the exact solution uh, to this algebraic equation. All right, uh, so suppose we have another equation, uh, very simple. Uh, solve uh, 3e to the x is equal to 5 over x. So I'm going to try and get this x e x term uh, next to it so I can apply this rule. Uh, so I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by x. So I'm going to get 3x e to the x is equal to 5. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So I get x e x is equal to 5 thirds. And now I have my linear exponential function on the left hand side, which is where I'm going to introduce my Lambert w function. 
Uh, so I have w x e x is going to be equal to w 5 over 3. And by the properties of the Lambert W function, W X E X is just equal to X, and we have X is equal to W of 5 thirds. So therefore, this is the algebraic solution to the given equation. Now it's very straightforward, um, but there are some other functions uh, that are not as obvious uh, where you can introduce the Lambert W function. And here's going to be a famous example that you may have encountered. All right, so suppose we want to solve the equation x to the x is equal to 7. Now, here is another uh, type of equation that is often seen in uh, higher level math. All right, so notice that there is no e here, so we need to introduce it uh, somehow into the picture. All right, so I'm going to begin by taking the log of both sides of this equation. So log of x to the x is going to be equal to the log of 7. And then I'm going to use the property of logarithms by bringing this x down in front. So that's going to be equal to x times the natural log of x is equal to the natural log of 7. All right, so from here I'm going to introduce a new variable. I'm going to let u be equal to the natural log of x. So if I let u be equal to the natural log of x, this is going to imply that x is going to be equal to e to the u. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so if I perform these definitions to this preceding equation, so x by definition is going to be e to the u, natural log of x by definition is going to be u, and then we we'll still have the natural log of 7 on the right hand side. All right, so what is this? Well, this is a linear exponential equation in terms of u, uh, so I can apply my Lambert W function to this equation now. All right, so therefore what? So that means W of u e u is going to be equal to W of the natural log of 7. So by the properties of the Lambert W function, the left-hand side is just going to be equal to u, and the right-hand side is just W of the natural log of 7. Now, of course, our equation is not in terms of u, it is in terms of x, so we need to go back to our definitions. So u, by definition, was equal to the natural log of x is equal to w of the natural log of 7. And this is a logarithmic equation in terms of x, so I can exponentiate both sides of this equation to cancel. And then I'm just going to be left with x is equal to e raised to the power Lambert w of the natural log of 7. And this is the general solution to our algebraic equation. All right, um, that's nice. Uh, so pretty much that's a run through of the Lambert W function. Uh, and there are definitely two uh, immediate properties that you can see uh, from this. So the overlying property of the Lambert W function is that W of a e to the a is equal to a. It transforms linear exponentials into linear functions. Uh, so any type you have a, every time you have a linear exponential equation, definitely the Lambert W function is going to help. Uh, but the first type of equation that this helps solve is equations of the form x e x is equal to a. Uh, this gives us an, a solution of x is equal to w of a. And every time you have simple equations such as x to the x is equal to a, uh, we can use that same exact trick as before. And x is going to be equal to e to the nat e to the Lambert w of the natural log of a. Uh, so this helps solve uh, linear exponential equations and also tetration equations as shown here. And we have these two general solutions for those uh, baby types of equations. And that is the Lambert W function and how to use it to solve basic equations.